Hi, I'm Cesar Santos. I'm here at Jack's River Fields Campground. Today I'm going to show you how I develop an underpainting, a wash drawing with oil colors. My generator gave up on me and I think um, are the spark plugs, I need to replace them. I'm looking for a mechanic to help me out. It was actually the fuel pump that needs to be replaced. I'm guessing we're just gonna drive and see if we find it, but it's not really necessary right now. So let's keep enjoying the trip. We're about to hit 3,000 feet above sea level, and we are going up on a dirt road with my studio on wheels. look around I realize that I'm looking for scenes that I have seen painted before so the mountains like a beautiful tree stuff like that but I'm trying to see if I can go beyond that thinking and that um, naive attitude that we have without knowing it is a fact that we are influenced by what we know we have seen so many beautiful paintings that influence us so much that we look for scenes and places that might have that look that we saw before and we want to kind of experience it ourselves. I'm wondering if I can see something from a different point of view that touches me, even though it's not a popular scene or it's not something expected. And I think that's the beauty of art, to try to search from within. Walking is good because your eye keeps searching and aiming at different things that call your attention. And those things are important because there is a reason why you're attracted to certain things a different color of a flower, a different movement of a leaf. We're walking back to our camp and I feel inspired. I wanna see if I can do a study of something. And when you don't find anything that you're like convinced, just sit down and do it. Sit down and explore. It's all about that. It's not about information, technique, what paper you're using, what paint. Just express it. Just make some image that reflects your feelings, your internal mood about whatever scene you encounter. Don't go too far to search it. It's closer than you think. just by our bench here, there is a really nice creek flowing through the back here. Nature is very intricate, it's very organic. Everything is moving and I wanna get all that information and see if I can simplify it, if I can express it how I feel it. Because when I experience this, I'm not experiencing leaf by leaf, I'm not experiencing tree by tree. It's the wholeness of the, of the mood of the place, it's the wholeness of the scene that I'm attracted to. Before I start with my painting, I want to study it with pencil. I want to organize the complexity and all the organic forms that I see around me. This scene, I'm trying to look for a rhythm that I can describe, I can put aside, I can set apart from the rest, focus on it and see if I can simplify all these intricate shapes of leaves, branches. The creek is flowing, beautiful sounds, birds are singing and I want to see if I can express it through the visual medium of oil. So I need to look for a main subject, a main movement, the rhythm, the flow through lines in the composition so that I don't get lost while I work. I see this beautiful movement of the form if I unify all this plants growing here I can just put them together and create like a cloud shape that moves along 
the creek going downward and moving up and around like that. Behind that is a dirt road that is catching a lot of light because it's not absorbing it with all this grass and plants here. So that I'm gonna use as the backdrop so that I can show the silhouette of the leaves and the branches in the front on the top plane of this big mass here. That meets and finishes at the beginning of the creek here where the entrance of the water is flowing through, coming out. Now the water here is very dark because it's kind of the bottom of it is pretty much just dirt, just dark sand under there. And then there are branches on top of it, kind of creating that shade. I want to be able to present the cause and the effect of the, of the view that I'm creating. This shadow here is being created by all that shadow of these trees. And then some areas are gonna be catching light. And I wanna decide that at a certain point and stay with it. I don't wanna be distracting, chasing it. So I'm just gonna feel the creek coming down and all these masses of plants hugging it, surrounding it. And then in the back, we see some shiny objects of the cars and the man-made part of the scene. Some grass here with some beautiful lighting, creating some intricate shapes. Even though it's an abstract drawing, it has an intention, it has a purpose. It's not just random, I'm just analyzing it. I'm gonna use raw umber to create the wash drawing. I'm using a steel man and burn sketchbook. I'll put the links in the description below. It's a uh, pretty thick paper. I gesso the page with two layers of gesso. I'm just gonna be picking up the lights when I need it to be lighter. I'm just adding a layer of oil of the medium, a little bit of linseed oil and the liquid to create a nice saturated page that I can stain it now with my raw umber. used to the city. We didn't feel this in New York City. <laughs> Either people or bugs. Or oh, because people bug you, but bugs don't people you. What? With this exercise, I'm basically limiting myself on purpose just to focus on drawing and value relationship. I'm not exploiting the temperature shift that can add distance 
or increase the tactile sensation of the surroundings. I don't have what nature has, which is strong colors playing against each other, temperatures. Basically, my focus was on those little details and those compressed values as I'm seeing them in front of me. My goal is also to create a connection about what I'm feeling from the scene that I'm looking at. So looking at a scene and trying to study it look at it and my relationship with the scene becomes more intense because as I work on it I see more stuff happening and then I can always manipulate it change it around so that it expresses exactly what I was feeling at the moment I was watching it. When this underpainting dries I'll be adding those additional elements of color and value shift and temperature change and all this stuff that would add more richness to the painting. I'm gathering information with all these studies to be able to produce an instructional video on landscape with different aspects. I can do a close-up, like an interior, maybe mid-distance, overlooking a big space. All that, I'm planning to do instructional videos for my website, cesarsantos.com. Since I've spent most of my career painting portraits, I have a bunch of videos that you can choose from on my website, but soon I'll have landscapes in it too. Okay, let's wrap this video up. My underpainting comes from the ground. I see a lot of green, but I'm using brown. Mm -hmm.